Frosty fam, it's me Karen Frost here at Now Decadence and I've got another acrylic video for you. So in this video I will be using some Ink London products as you can see just going to show you everything that I'm going to use. I'm also going to be using some Nao products and whenever I use a powder from a different brand I will use the monomer that goes with that brand um, each brand has their own recipe as it were so even though all acrylic powders really are acrylic powders they they're different in their makeup you know so it's best to use the same branded monomer that goes with that system it's yeah it's just better to do it that way so that's the way i do it so on to the set so what i have done before i started filming is i applied my thin clear base obviously put prep the nails put the tips on and then put my thin clear base on and now I'm applying that dark green color that I mixed and as you saw in the beginning there if you'd like to know how I mix my custom acrylic powders myself you can check out the video that was shown in the cards above as you can see it's if you just click the cards you'll see the video of how to make your own custom acrylic powders but anyway on with the design so what I'm doing on these three nails is an ombre with that really dark green darker colors are more difficult to ombre when you're ombreing with a cover pink because it's so much lighter it you really need to fade out that back area so if you look at the way i applied it to the tips the first three nails i did fade it back up towards the cuticle area really really faded so that when i bring my cover pink down over it i don't get the shadowing and harsh line aren't so showing through the cover pink because that can happen especially with using such a deep color and you'll notice that i didn't bring the green as high as um, I normally would with an ombre so that allows for the cover pink to come down nicer I don't it's hard to explain but you'll see what I mean when I put my cover pink over so on that ring finger as you saw I just applied a full nail of the dark green and I'm doing the same on this index finger so I'm just taking small beads at this point not building any um, strength or structure it's just a very thin layer of color just to get the opaqueness that I need for this color to just be a full nail um, be careful around that cuticle area because as the color is so opaque and very very pigmented it it'll be a mess if you get it on the skin and in the side walls and stuff so do be careful so you'll see I used very small beads and even though I was being really careful I did manage to get a little bit on that side wall there so I just made sure I got it off there quickly as possible um, and I will wash my hands uh, as soon as possible at the most convenient point in the nails that I can monomer is not good for the skin so please try and avoid getting it on the skin these products are chemicals that are not made for skin they're made for nails so just bear that in mind so back to that little finger and now I'm going to complete my ombre so I take my cover pink color and as you can see I'm using small beads to bring it down over the green I'm just comparing it to the other hand to see how far I had brought down the cover pink to make sure that both hands look you know relatively similar and if you look it looks quite patchy that's because it's such a dark color it really is it's not an easy ombre to do so take your time use small beads and just work that ombre very carefully and meticulously and you will get a decent ombre so I've also added my cuticle bead and again trying to make that area nice and neat if I get any 
that gets away from me in the side walls. I just use my brush to do clean up a little bit, but I'm trying to just use the tip of my brush so that I'm not totally saturating my finger with monomer. And like I said, I will at the most convenient time, as soon as possible, wash my hands. So now that I have done that ombre and it's it's relatively good <laughs> it still looks a little bit patchy but i wasn't worried about that so much because i was adding that um ink london glitter yeah, sort of black glitter it's like a jelly black with gold glitter in it it's really pretty but anyway i knew i was using that and some gold leaf so that way i knew that even if my ombre wasn't perfect it didn't matter so much because a lot of it would be disguised underneath the glitter and the gold leaf so same again on the middle finger so i'm going to do my ombre small beads and just really blend that cover pink over that green try and get that ombre to look yeah, fairly good but like I said it doesn't have to be perfect because I've put bits and bobs on top but again keep these layers thin because you will need to cap your ombre you don't necessarily need to cap the cuticle area um, because you can build that with your cover pink if you so wish but you will definitely need to cap the middle of the nail to ensure that your ombre is protected and that you don't file it away and also because I'm adding other bits and bobs again we don't want to file those away so capping in clear is is essential uh, a bead just got away from me on that side wall there so just tucked that in got it off the skin don't don't leave acrylic on the skin always get it off before it starts to set up you can just use your brush and get, and get it off the skin very carefully like I said don't use an, a really sopping wet brush to do that just you know, wipe your brush on your kitchen roll a few times and then just use the very tip to tap the acrylic back into place where it should be off the skin same again on the thumb very small bead blending away with my brush trying to get that ombre to look nice so I'll just keep adding beads where I need it and obviously I still need to add my cuticle bead so small cuticle bead tap that around the cuticle area bring the front of the bead down make sure it's nice and tucked in and flush and if I need any more like there I needed a little bit more it wasn't quite opaque so just added a small bead there to fill that area in I had a bit of a dip in the side of my nail there so I was just literally using the acrylic to make the side of the nail not dip in anymore it's like a notch from where my natural nail just grows a bit funny so I compared that to my other thumb just to make sure like I said that the ombre is brought down the same um, as far as the, the other thing hand other fingers on the other hand make sure your ombre is being brought down in a similar distance basically and then in with that sort of jelly black with the gold flecks in it and some of the gold leaf so again that's kind of masking the ombre a little bit so that it didn't need to be absolutely perfect on to the index finger and i'm using that jelly glittery black all over that nail just it's so pretty i just wanted a full nail of that over the green because I, I just think it looks really nice and it actually deepens because it's a jelly black it does deepen that green somewhat but i still think it looked really nice back to the middle finger and now i will add some of these cog pieces um, I did use my, uh, what's it called? Why, why have I, why has my brain just gone totally blank? I have a little tool that I use for bending my alloys with. I've shown it in videos before. I'll pop, an, I'll, I'll pop a picture up here for you so you can see what I mean. So this is what I use to bend my alloys so that they sit flush on the nail otherwise they're flat and they can stick up at the sides and you'll end up filing that off a lot of the time because I didn't want that to happen I did bend these before I began my set so I just got a load of the little cog pieces bent a good few of them 
ready to do this set so that as you can see they sit nice and flat on the nail because they've got the curve bent into them now so it makes it look a lot nicer and like I said they just curve around the nail really nicely and flush because they're not actually very thick these cog pieces they are very thin so yeah if you can get them to bend around um, the nail it just they just sit better so I'm also adding some gold leaf I should probably mention I am using small amounts of clear acrylic to get those cog pieces um, applied to the nail and that will hold them in place when I'm ready to cap Now I've gone back to the little finger and I'm capping that nail. Now of course this is the time when we are thinking about the structure of the nail. We want a well structured, well balanced nail. We don't want a bulky one. Well, personally I don't like a bulky nail. I just want enough acrylic to give me the strength and structure and also you know a little bit of a margin to be able to file into without filing into the products underneath. And because of those embellishments that I've put on I will be capping that entire nail in clear I didn't build my apex with my cover pink so this is where I'm building my apex in that back third and just making sure that nail is well balanced and that all of the embellishments are totally encased in that clear acrylic and also comparing it to my other hand to make sure that the nails are a similar thickness this is how you get a more uniform set. You really pay attention to what you've done previously so that you can make everything flow and look uniform in, in your sets. It, do stop and look. It's really important to stop and look because if you don't, you'll have nails that are thicker than other nails and that doesn't look as nice. So I'm just making sure I have enough on this nail to match my other hand and then I will move on. So I'll just use a bit of monomer, not a lot, just a little bit of monomer on the nail to dampen it down. And I noticed that it was a little bit patchy so I just added, I held my finger up to the light to see if I could see through any of the nail. And wherever I could see through I knew it would be patchy. Therefore I added a bit more of the dark green until and whenever I held it up to the light I couldn't see through the nail anymore so that's how I got to make sure that that nail was entirely opaque and now that I'm happy with that opaqueness I will cap that nail so like I said with the little finger this is where we are going to add our structure to the nail swiping down those sides to make sure that I'm keeping my shape as best I can to reduce the filing time that I would have to do on those side walls it's easier to swipe your brush down the side of the nail than it is to file it away so try and shape with your brush as much as you can obviously sometimes we all have a bad day where we lose the shape of our nails and you know it is what it is it happens it's nothing to fret about you can save the nail by filing you know but try not to <laughs> that way you are not having to file too much just uh, makes life a little bit easier and reduces your filing time which is always good so again I'm checking that now just making sure that the structure is there and on to the middle finger same again dampen the nail down which helps the clear acrylic then slide over the nail nicely especially over those embellishments because I do want the clear to seep in and around all of those bits and bobs and nooks and crannies without any air pockets so that first bead I put on was slightly wetter than what I normally would put on just so that it flowed over those pieces nicely and then I can continue adding beads where necessary to make sure that all of those pieces are totally encased and safe under that clear acrylic so that I don't file them away so as you can see by the tip of the nail it's not very thick there at all you can see just from it, where I move my hand you can see the tip of the nail is, is thin it's not thick 
I will have a good apex in the back third but I will make sure that the tip of the nail is no thicker than a credit card it's not necessary for the, it to be any thicker than a credit card mostly it's slightly thinner than a credit card the way I do it that's just the way I like it I don't prefer to have a really thick free edge I think it's cumbersome and makes life a little bit more difficult with picking things up and stuff so if you keep that free edge nice and thin but not too thin that is going to break it will just make your life living with nails a little bit easier so I will just keep adding beads where I need them to build the structure of the nails so I will leave you to watch the rest of the capping procedure and we will be back for the next part which is the filing for my frosty filing fruits. I know you're there. <laughs> yeah, got some good filing in here, this video for you. So stay tuned, back in a minute. It's really just a fam and my dogs. I just gotta make a call. I ain't in all that chatting, not a duh, not a duh. Yeah, put that on the squad. We've been not you going hard. We on deck, please don't make them. Go try your luck, test me in again. We let it rain, please don't start us up. Black and white, that yin and yang, Mr. Officer. Please don't search us, we don't got a thing. Tell a park it up, then that be poking up them jeans. I've been sparking up, let the fireworks, I keep the flame. Heard you barking up, this the wrong tree, I got the strings. Yeah, I'm charging up, they can't keep up, got them looking drained. Now they walking up, trying to put the face to the name. Drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on a flex since flex zone. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, 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 no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, my frosty filing freaks, 
filing time however if you are not one of my frosty filing freaks please feel free to skip to the timestamp you saw in the corner of the screen that way you can avoid the for filing if you do not wish to watch it however for my my lovely triple f's <laughs> here we go first thing first i will go around the cuticle area using my e-file this is a small cone shaped um diamond bit you don't need anything too harsh to go around the cuticle area because you should be applying your acrylic fairly thin around the cuticle area so at this point all you really should be doing is just making sure that the acrylic is flush to the natural nail that none of the acrylic is touching the skin and that you've got a very small like one millimeter gap between your proximal nail fold and which is your cuticle area well the people call it cuticle but it's not cuticle cuticle is what sits on the nail plate as dry skin it's your proximal nail fold is what that area is called um, it's also known as your epinicium so yeah make sure you've got that one millimeter gap between your epinicium your nail and the product so that's that's the order it should go in so you've got your epinicium which is your skin then you've got a little millimeter gap of your natural nail and then you'll have the acrylic that way you know that it's not touching the skin you get a good seal right around that area and then you'll be good to go you shouldn't really get much lifting if any at all if you do it that way now that i've finished sealing around that cuticle area and making sure that it's nice and flush i will switch to a hand file and file the side walls and the free edge just straighten those up so that they're nice and neat and you know you straight <laughs> um yeah quickly just do that with the hand file because like i said i managed to swipe my sides with my brush to keep the shape fairly neat so there wasn't too much sidewall filing to do so then i will switch back to my e-file using a larger cone bit which is a medium or a fine i can't actually remember it was either medium or fine and this is where i will go over the entire body of the nail shaping and contouring as i go so this is where i'm making sure that i've got a nice rise up from the cuticle area giving me you know at the very height of of it the apex so it goes up from the cuticle area in a nice slope uh, reaches the apex and then goes on for a little bit and then starts sloping down to uh, along the free edge right down to the very tip of the nail that's the structure and shape of the nail that i wanted that's also the structure and shape of a good well structured nail uh, how many times can i say structure i know i'm sorry but it, it it it's like building a bridge if your structure's not there it's going to collapse and if your structure's not there on your nail it's going to break so same principle um so yeah i'm just contouring that nail making sure that it's not too thick not too bulky that the apex isn't too high but i'm also smoothing with my e-file if you look how much dust is coming off it's not a huge amount that i'm actually filing off um i'm just contouring that nail and smoothing it as i go i want to make sure that where i've filed those side walls that i i curve that um, harsh edge away because I don't want a blocky nail I want it to be curved from sidewall to sidewall in a nice arch the way it should be uh, so yeah I am literally just contouring with my e-file debulking whatever is a bit too bulky um, not too much debulking but yeah if you use your e-file and keep stopping and looking if you notice I do stop and look often and that is very very necessary so that you're not filing too much but then you are filing as much as you need to and making sure that you keep the shape of the nail that's the most important part is you're keeping that shape on track stopping and look I, I, I know I say it in every video but stopping and looking is highly important 
If you don't do that, yeah, you will have nails that are not consistent and do not all look similar. Um, they'll never be exactly the same, but you want them to all have a similar shape to them. So you've got a nice cohesive set, you know, you want some uni uniformity. So on this day, uh, my hands weren't feeling too bad. So I, instead of using my sanding band to just finish smoothing, I actually switched back to a hand file. This is a well-used 180, so it's probably more along the lines of a 200 at this point. So I'm just using that to remove any demarcations and just smooth out that nail nicely so that I've got you know a nice surface to top coat over making sure there are no deep um, etch marks in the nail and yeah it just overall it just smooths out that entire nail and just finish filing that does make difference you know whether you're using the hand file or if you're using a sanding band they both do the same thing they both serve the same purpose so you'll notice that I do the exact same thing on each nail as I go along so I'll go up one side wall I'll go around the cuticle area then I'll go down the other side wall and then I will vial in motion and blend from cuticle right down to tip as I go so that I'm contouring the nail as I go along so it's giving it a nice rounded shape stop and look and make sure that it's on track and that it looks good and there are no bumps or lumps left which they shouldn't be after you've e-filed but you never know there could be some dips there that might just need a little bit of a hand file away kind of thing smooth out so yeah just up one side around the cuticle down the other side and then violin motion over the middle of the nail from cuticle to very tip you see as I work down and I'm just making sure that my tip is um the right thickness because like I said I don't like a very thick tip um, it's just easier to have it a bit thinner but not too thin you don't want to go too thin because it will snap if you go too thin it's a fine line between just enough and too much kind of thing so so you got too much not enough and just enough yeah it's a fine line between all three to be perfectly honest but you'll get there because with experience and time you know you, you get to know which how far you can push it <laughs> you'll know how far you can push it it definitely comes with time now a lot of newbies struggle with shaping and filing but and I know it's the worst thing you want to hear is practice 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 but it really is it does boil down to that time practice and experience is there's, you can't rush that sorry I'm really sorry but you can't you can't rush that it's taken me years to get to where I am uh, in my skill level years and years absolutely years so it, Rome wasn't built in a day so don't be in a hurry just take your time but know that you will improve every set you do you will improve because you'll learn from each set you do you'll learn and get better and better and better. So don't be in a hurry. I know it's, it's you know, it's not nice when you just wanna be great straight away, but it doesn't work like that. You have to put in the work and it is a lot of work and it is difficult and you do get frustrated, but just keep at it and you will get there, promised. You know, just stick with it. If you get really, really frustrated, step away, take a break, and then go back to it another day or later, you know? So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just using a very small bit to just clean up underneath the nails there. I don't like to have anything stuck underneath the nail and I can't stand the little frills that you get from tips. Um, yeah, I have to get them off because that stuff really irritates me. It drives me nuts. I don't like anything under my nail. I'm really meticulous about keeping my, um, underneath my nails clean. So yeah, I can't. If I've got, if I can feel anything underneath my nail, I'm going to pick it. <laughs> Simple as I'm going to pick it. So yeah, smooth it out and then I won't I don't have anything to pick. So I've removed the dust and washed my hands and stuff. So it's time to bling it, baby, and bling it we are. So I'm add, using some of the Tony Lee Joy Gel, which is a very, very thick gel. So 
things are less likely to slide out of place and I'm using that to stick this cuff on because like I said it's thick and it will just hold that cuff in place really nicely for me. I'm just putting some of the jewelry gel right on the very end or each end of that cuff because they can be quite sharp so if you just put a little ball of product over the end it kind of stops it from being sharp. The, the jewelry gel is not tack free so as you saw I used some of the SBD London diamond gel over the top of it because that is tack free that doesn't have a tacky layer therefore I wouldn't have to remove any tacky layer afterwards. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a bit lazy but to totally makes sense in my opinion to just go over the top of it with the diamond gel because I don't have a tacky layer to remove with that. So. I'm also going to, obviously I flash cured it, you saw that. I'm also going to add some embellishments on that index finger. As you probably noticed, I used some of the SBD London Diamond Gel. Added that onto the nail with that little circle, gold circle. Put a crystal in the middle of that and then I'm adding some more crystals and caviar beads around it. Just playing with the, the um, embellishments as I go along um, I made it up on the other hand so if you see the, the, what I've done on the other hand I used different crystals um, I used the green ones and after I'd done it I kind of wasn't that keen on it so on this hand I decided to use the gold colored crystals instead of the green ones and I thought it went just a little bit better so add them on cure those in place well just flash cure it in place and now I'm adding just a small amount of acrylic to hold this embellishment on now this alloy ugh, it's a pain in the butt to be honest it didn't want to play ball with me so I just quickly removed scraped off that acrylic and uh, tried again it is a pain in the butt to get this thing on because it just wants to slip and slide everywhere hence I didn't use any of the gel products to try and stick it on because having done the other hand I knew it would just keep sliding off and it's a nightmare um, this kind of embellishment really needs a lot around it to keep it in place and to keep it on because it's easy to catch it on things and yank it off so you'll see that I've added the diamond gel all around it the SPD London diamond gel I'm adding that around that triangle also adding crystals around that triangle trying to cook sort of I'm making a setting for it as it were so I'm bordering it to give it a bit more staying powder because like power not powder <laughs> staying power because like I said it's easy to rip that off the nail if you get it caught on something and I didn't want to lose it but it, this these are a pain in the butt to get them to stay on you do have to do all of this if you want it to stay on you cannot just stick it on and leave it and, and off you go um, you'll see later on I'll be using a more product around it to just make sure it's nice and secure so I'll flash cure those bits in place and then you see there we go adding more of the diamond gel right the way around it trust me this sucker is a pain in the butt you really do need that much product around it to keep it on otherwise you'll rip it off ask me how I know <laughs> trust me I've done it so this is why I've gone proper overboard with making sure that is totally sealed on now and now it's time favorite bit now it's time to top it off and keep it tough yes so i'm using the sbd london tempering top coat it is a very good top coat it's kind of like um scratch resistant and really strong and super glossy it stays so shiny for the entire time you're wearing your nails um, yeah love this stuff it's great it's a good consistency it's not thick and run uh, thick and gloopy and it's neither really thin and runny I it's just a good medium viscosity so yeah I really like working with this so yeah I will just 
yeah top coat the nails as you can see and of course that also means we are at the end of the video so I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you ever so much for coming to my channel and uh, spending some of your most precious time with me I appreciate you if you have not already done so please go ahead and subscribe join the frosty fam they are awesome I've had a few new subscribers which is brilliant thank you very much for subscribing and like i said if you haven't go ahead why not it's free join the frosty fam they're great and what else is there oh if you've enjoyed this video in any way shape or form or it's helped you please go ahead and click that like button it will help my little channel out and i'd appreciate it greatly and if you are feeling up to it you are most welcome to leave me a comment so that's all i've got for this time peeps you take care now and i'll speak to you all again soon bye for now So extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay happy? I'd rather be on that way. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a right side of passion, we can share love in the ocean. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it. Yeah.